Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sing if you will. We're going to sing a few songs together. We're going to be here for about 60 minutes. We're going to sing some songs together. The words are on the screen if you don't know them. I'm sure you do. But we invite you to celebrate the reason we're here tonight. The reason for this season. And that is the birth of our Lord and our Savior Jesus.
the Lord everybody come on let's give the Lord a hand of praise he deserves tonight come on let's celebrate Jesus on this Christmas Eve did you come to celebrate him y'all come on let's honor the name above every name let's honor the name of Jesus let's celebrate him is there bringing the lights on why don't we do this right quick like I want us to do something. I want you just to greet some people around you on this Christmas Eve. Boy, don't it look great? The sanctuary looks great tonight. Come on, greet some people. Give some people some Merry Christmas out there tonight. Amen. Would you just remain standing with me for just a moment? And would you just do this with me? Would you just lift your hands all over the room today? Would you do that, if you will, to Jesus? Jesus. 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 There's just something about that name oh master savior jesus like the fragrance after the celebrate Jesus in this room tonight y'all come on now let's give him a Christmas Eve celebration hey 
we in here tonight for a birthday party for Jesus. Amen. We celebrate Jesus in this room. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I feel the presence of the Lord in this room. What better way to open up Christmas Eve than to be in the house of the Lord with God's wonderful people. Amen. Amen. To be surrounded by people that love and honor and lift up the name above every name. Let me tell you something tonight. There is a name that causes demons to tremble. There is a name that brings healing. There is a name that brings deliverance. I want to talk about him tonight. I want to tell you his name is Jesus. And I speak Jesus over every person in this room tonight. I speak Jesus over you. I speak Jesus over your family. Hallelujah. We celebrate him tonight. King of kings, Lord of lords, light of the world, good shepherd, lamb of God, wheel within the wheel tonight. That's who we celebrate. We celebrate Jesus. Amen. You know, some folks are out having a good time doing other things, but we're in here having a good time celebrating Jesus. How many of you, how many of you cook something for tonight? How many of you got something ready to eat when you get home? Raise your hand high. Okay, we're coming to your house. As soon as this is over, we'll be over there. Amen. All of us are coming. We're going to celebrate. Amen. Isn't it awesome to be in the presence of God in the close of 2022 celebrating Jesus together as a church family? I don't know about you, but I feel him right now. I feel like somebody's about to be touched by the hand of God in this special time together. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. You can be seated if you can. So glad you're here tonight. I want to take just a moment, if I can, and talk to you just for a minute about the greatest gift ever. The greatest gift ever. How many of you feel like you've, you've gotten the greatest gift ever? How many of you ever had a gift? How many of you ever had a gift that you said, that's the greatest gift ever? Amen. You know, I'm, my, my good friend Charles Bass down here on the front, if you want to give him a, the greatest gift ever, get him a card to Bass Pro Shop. It'd be the greatest gift ever. You want to give my friend Brent Cheney, our pastor, our one and only Pastor Brent Cheney here, you want to give him a, the gift of all gifts, get him a gift card to Starbucks. The man loves coffee. Amen. You want to give my wife the greatest gift ever? Get her a gift card to Dillard's and she'll buy up all those shoes that are on sale. Amen. I've already given her her Christmas gift, so I can tell you this. I got, I don't even, it, it's not even a chore for me to buy. I just walk into Dillard's because all the girls in there know her. Walk up to one of them. I said, hey, you know what shoes she's already picked out? Go get them, bring them to me, and we're going home. Amen. The greatest gift ever. I want to talk to you tonight about the greatest gift ever. You know, the Bible talks about in 1 Kings chapter 10. There was a gift that was brought to King, to Solomon. It was brought to him, or not just a gift, but it was actually a whole, just entourage of people bringing gifts to, to King Solomon by Queen of Sheba. As a matter of fact, when you look at, depending on which 
theologian or which commentary you might read, it says that what was brought to, to, to King Solomon by Queen Sheba when she went to try to acquire of him and find some of his wisdom, it said she brought to him in our day, it would be estimated that she brought to him more than $6 million worth of gold to give to a man that was already wealthy. Gave many precious stones and sheep and cattle and all kinds of different gifts were given to King Solomon that day so she could acquire of him and to find out and get wisdom from him. But you know, the Bible teaches, about, teaches us about a, a gift a whole lot greater than what was brought to King Solomon that day. Indeed, that was a, a, a great gift, but there's another gift that we're told about in the Bible that is much greater than this, and it is the giving of an only son to be abused and to be eventually crucified on a cross in order that the world might be saved. The name of this gift today is the name that people seem to be offended by sometimes. And I can tell you why the, the, the world is stirred up and why the enemy stirred up by this name. And we talked about it just a Sunday or two ago. We talked about Jesus. Jesus is Savior. Christ is the anointed one, the chosen one. He's anointed to remove the burden. He's anointed to destroy the yoke. His name is Jesus today. The name of the gift is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's the greatest gift ever. Put your hand on somebody next to him and say, the greatest gift. The greatest gift ever. You know what makes this great, this gift so great? is the cause of this gift. And you know what's awesome about the cause of this gift? Put your hand on yourself like this and say this with me. Say, I'm the cause. I'm the reason. I'm the cause I'm the, of the reason that God the Father gave his only son. John chapter 3, verse 16. You know the verse. It's going to come up on the screen. It's very familiar for God so loved. Somebody say, so loved. so loved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, aren't you glad it's a whosoever kind of God? Aren't you glad it's a whosoever kind of gift? That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. This is not in your notes back there, tech team, but in verse 17, it says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He's the greatest gift ever. He sent us his Son that we could have everlasting life. Jesus tonight, y'all, is your gift from God. Have you received it? Have you accepted the gift, the greatest gift ever that gives you eternal life? You can live forever. The greatest gift ever gives you a ticket into a place where there is no more sorrow, there is no more pain, there is no more death, for all of these things are wiped away. You have a ticket today because of the gift of Jesus. You have a ticket to heaven, a beautiful place that Jesus has prepared for us. The cause of the gift is me. The cause of the gift is is you. And that's why we're here in this room tonight. We're here to celebrate the greatest gift ever. The gift of Jesus. There's another side to this gift. And it is the consequences of refusing the gift. In that same chapter, in John chapter 3, two verses later in verse 18, this is what the scripture says. 
He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And his name is Jesus. You know, I think it's humiliating to offer someone a gift and to have them to reject it. Amen? To reject that gift. This is what happens when people neglect or ignore or reject Jesus Christ for their salvation. What a tragedy tonight that anyone would reject the greatest gift ever given, the gift of the Son of God. And what I want to say to you tonight in this room is that if you have never received God's gift of salvation in and through Jesus Christ, do so right now. If you have received Jesus as your Savior, rejoice in Him. Rejoice in Him. Rejoice in Him. Rejoice in Jesus. If you have received this free gift of salvation and if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, more than giving someone a new pair of shoes or more than giving someone a new coat or a new shirt, why don't we take this Christmas season and share the gift of Jesus Christ, a gift that continues to keep on giving. The greatest gift ever. Is the gift of Jesus. The gift of Jesus. You know what's awesome, y'all? It's free. It's a gift. Doesn't cost you anything. And it's simple. All you have to do is believe. Believe. Jesus is the Son of God. Believe that he died on an old rugged cross for you. Believe that they buried him in a borrowed tomb. And ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you it's not Easter, but we are celebrating everything that Jesus did. Can I tell you that it was a borrowed tomb? Can I tell you that on the third day, Jesus come up out of that grave with the keys to death, hell, and the grave, and we are victorious in him today. Jesus, the risen Savior. Jesus that did just exactly what he said he would do. That Jesus is here tonight. On this Christmas Eve, he is in this house. And this is what I want to do. I wish I had the money that I could buy all of you a pair of shoes. I wish I had the money to get everybody that would love one a Bass Pro card or a Starbucks card. Come on, somebody. I don't have that kind of money to get everybody in this room this, but you know what I do have? I, I have something I can share with you that's greater than a pair of shoes and greater than a, than a Bass Pro Shop card. The greatest gift ever and it's Jesus Christ every head bowed and every eye closed and no one looking around if you're here tonight on this Christmas Eve you've come to celebrate Jesus with us because you know him and because you love him if you're here tonight and you know that you know that you know that you are right with the Lord and that you have, you've accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. You don't have a doubt in your mind. You know that 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 you're saved. Lift your hand. Let me see it. Let me see your hand. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Awesome, 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 awesome. You can put them down. Every head bowed, every eye closed. You're sitting in this room tonight and you say, Pastor Bo, I'm going to be honest. 
I just don't know. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. Would you lift your hands? Would you lift your hand for me and say, pray for me, Pastor? I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. I'm just not sure. I see that hand. I see hands up going up over there. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. You can put it down. This is what I want you to do. Right where you are tonight, you can make Jesus the Lord of your life. You can accept Jesus as your personal Savior. And you do it like this. And let's help them tonight. Can we do that? Can we help them? Let's pray it like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner and I need grace. Forgive me for any sin in my life that has separated me from you. Tonight, I believe you in my heart. I confess you, Jesus, with my mouth. And from this day forward, I will follow you. From this day forward, I will honor you. From this day forward, I will love you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. If you prayed that prayer, we believe you accept. We believe you're born again. Come on, let's celebrate it tonight, y'all. Come on, let's celebrate it tonight, y'all. We celebrate you. We celebrate your new life in Jesus. Now let me say this to you. We make this commitment to you on this Christmas Eve. If you're one that prayed that prayer and you would like further prayer, you'd like one of us to pray with you at the end of the service tonight, we'll be available right down here. I'm going to step down off the stage at the end of the service when it's over with. I have staff that are on here in the front, elders here on the front. Any of these folks that you see sitting behind me be right here. And you want further prayer. Pastor, would you pray for me? Could you have someone to pray with me? All you got to do is walk right down here in the front after the service is over and someone will pray with you. Amen. We don't want anyone to leave without getting that prayer that you need in Jesus' name. We're going to go into a very special moment as you were coming in tonight. As you were coming in, you were given the elements for communion. Jesus, before his ascension into heaven, as he got ready to leave, he got together with his followers. And as Jesus always was, always did, it was his practice to be the example, the greatest example of anything that he asked his followers to do. And he set them down as you can read in the New Testament, and he began to share with them about communion and the Lord's Supper. And I'm going to simplify it and condense it tonight. He said he took the, the, the what we have here tonight is juice, but he took the wine, the scripture said, and, and he said, asked them to partake of it. And when he asked them to partake of it, he said these words to them. He said, when you take this and you drink this, you drink this as remembering the blood that I shed for you. And then he took the bread and he said, you take this bread and as often as you eat this bread, you remember that my body was broken for you. Isaiah 53, 5 said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. And the top of your cup tonight, if you can just, you can take that and just peel that back, and right there, there is a piece of bread in there. I want you to take that in your hand. Once you get that in your hand, I'm going to repeat what Jesus said. This bread in your hand 
represents the broken body of Jesus. Jesus gave his life. He was wounded for your sins. When you eat this bread, you remember the broken body of Jesus. Can you take that with me tonight? Beneath that, bread is a cup of juice. Jesus said, as often as you drink this, this is to represent the blood of Jesus. As often as you drink it, you remember the blood shed for you. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You can take that now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you thankful for the blood? I said, aren't you thankful for the blood tonight? Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Also, I want us to do something very special tonight. And the reason we do this is because in the Word of God, Jesus is referred to as the light of the world. And what we want to do is we get ready to celebrate. We're just a few hours away from celebrating the birth of the light of the world. Amen. And so as you came in tonight, you were given a candle. Our ushers right now are going to begin to, to move down the aisle. And they're going to help you light your candle. What they'll do is light yours and then you'll light your neighbor's. You can just, once you've lit yours, then go right on down the aisle. This is beautiful, y'all. This is beautiful. Would you just lift that candle in your hand tonight and let us sing together? Long is worth 
your candle put that aside and let's give the Lord the best praise that we've given him all night long y'all hallelujah give him praise give him praise give him praise give him praise we celebrate you Jesus we honor you Jesus we adore you Jesus we glorify you Jesus amen Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Now, y'all remind me one more time. Who was it we're going to eat with? Raise your hand again. <laughs> hallelujah. What a wonderful night it is, y'all. What a wonderful night. We want to say from our family to your family, Melissa and I, Blake, Dalton, and Connor. We just want to say Merry Christmas to you all. We love you all. We thank God for every one of you. We hope you have a... And listen, stay warm if you can, all right? This is a good time for you to get with the one that God meant for you to be with and do a little Christmas snuggling, amen? Hallelujah. God bless you. Merry Christmas.